Leave it 5 one turn right heading 180. It's been a long 19 months now, with many not seeing an end in sight for the saga ongoing with the Boeing 737 MAX. However, the EASA has shown us there is light at the end of the tunnel, with the executive director providing a very positive and exciting update to testing with the type. If you're interested in joining our community, which is warm, positive, and maybe a bit more relaxed over on Twitter, you can head over there, and we're very close to 11,000. I'd very much appreciate you joining up there. Patrick Kai, who is the executive director of the European Union Aviation Safety Agency, has been working closely with Boeing and their 737 MAX in recent months, focusing heavily on the changes the aircraft manufacturer has made and conducting their own independent review on the aircraft and whether or not it is safe to fly within Europe. Mr. Kai said that he is satisfied with the changes that Boeing has made to the 737 aircraft, specifically noting the following. Our analysis is showing that this is safe and the level of safety reach is high enough for us. What we discussed with Boeing is the fact that with the third sensor we could reach even higher safety levels, which I will get onto later on in this video. This is exciting because they could have very easily gone directly back to Boeing and noted their concerns, which would have, say, prevented the type from re-entering service commercially in Europe with passengers for an even longer period of time. It's important to note that while we've heard from the EASA that they're now satisfied with what Boeing has done to the 737 MAX, it does not actually mean that the type is yet ready to fly. There's still more that needs to be done, like paperwork and so on. The EASA is also still holding true to what it wanted in the first place and like what Mr. Kai mentioned earlier, and that is the development of a synthetic sensor, a third sensor, which would help aid the angle of attack sensors as we know this was the cause of the MCAS readings to be thrown haywire and what contributed to the two prior incidents which really has left the aircraft grounded and forced Boeing into adjusting and changing the design. This sensor, though, takes time. In fact, it'd take quite a long time to be completed, multiple years to be exact. However, the EASA is willing to let the type continue flying without this sensor, but they will require it to eventually be put on the aircraft, essentially as soon as possible. This could be namely on the 737 MAX 10 at first, which is still two years away, roughly 2022. Naturally, following this being welcomed onto the 737 MAX 10, it will then be required to be installed on the other 737 MAX aircraft. The United States and EU have continued to work closely with Boeing to recertify the 737 MAX, with also Canada popping up into the equation as well, with their Transport Authority conducting their own tests. At this stage, the EASA have been the only ones to fully come out and publicly back the changes that Boeing have made, which in my opinion is an encouraging sign, especially with them being potentially hesitant given the FAA and Boeing's relationship and oversights in the first place that led to the incidents taking place. This has all come about as many aviation authorities, transport authorities for different countries and more didn't want the safety of the type to be based and determined purely off a review from the FAA. Once again, this further comes especially following the controversy that surrounded the pair, as covered in a mini-series I did here on the channel, where Boeing was keeping things from the FAA and also the FAA were downplaying certain things that were putting pilots and passengers on board any 737 MAX at risk. I personally don't think that the type when it returns to service will receive that much backlash from the general public. It has slowly but surely over the past 19 months drifted away from the main news, and that's due of course to a global pandemic which is ongoing. However, its return in the first week I imagine will be talked about, but after that people will most likely forget and go on with their daily life. What are your thoughts on this news from the EASA which is rather positive? Let me know in the comments below and as always thank you very much for your continued support. I hope you continue to stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.